And now, for our feature presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? You're listening to Straight Talk with Dean and Mark. Call in to join the conversation at 646 668-8393. Welcome to Straight Talk with Dean and Mark. It's the six man Dean Geronimo in the studio with Mark Lee. And we welcome you to yet another exciting episode of our show. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, good evening, good evening. It is the last. Monday in June, as we know, we're getting through the summer. Summer just arrived this past Friday, but uh, next Monday, we're going to be celebrating all month long. We're starting off on the first with the birthday of my partner in crime from NJ to NC, the sixth man, Dean Geronimo, is in the studio with Mark Lee. So, Mark, tell me what's good in your neck of the woods, my brother. Well, for one thing, like you said, the birthday is coming up next Monday. I will still do the show yes, on the sir. birthday because it's a, it's a work day, and i got a couple people that will call in, <laughs> and who knows, maybe they'll give me some birthday shout-outs and, and things of that nature. So we will continue to do the show on that day. But the other word is hot, hot and busy. Okay. It's been definitely hot here. <laughs> it's, I think we hit around 92, 94 degrees. It's supposed to be oh. a little bit cooler, maybe in the high 80s tomorrow, but it is definitely some hot weather. I stepped outside at lunchtime from my uh, job over there in measurement, and I stepped right back in because it was a little bit on the uh, blistering side out there, and I'm sitting there going like, no, nah, this is not the answer. And I was checking out my pops, uh, one of his uh, his pages that he's got. He's got a Facebook page, and he was talking about he had been swimming. So even he is trying to find ways to get cool and things of that nature. He's actually a pretty good swimmer, uh, but he was talking about, you know, even with age, because I think he's about to hit that magic eight number, you know, he was, he was acknowledging that some of the things that he used to be able to do, he cannot do. And uh, I know that's the case with him. It's the case with me. It's just the case with all of us as we continue this process of aging and things of that nature. But uh, we definitely um, had a very busy weekend at the Haytai. I also had some sad news uh, I've got to let folks know about. But there was a very well-known musician here in the area, a guy by the name of Reggie Jeffries. Um, he played in uh, the Burlington area. He played around Raleigh, things of that nature. He was actually um, killed in a uh, traffic accident. The, the, um, somebody was oh, wow. apparently, I believe, high on marijuana. He was walking. He wasn't even in his car, so he is a driver. But he was uh, apparently uh, walking, and um, the person uh, hit him. And uh, the way that friends of mine that saw the video described it, he didn't even know it hit him. And now he's uh, hopefully sitting up there in heaven and talking to God and playing music with some of the legendary people up there and uh you know, continue that legacy on the next plane. But, yeah, that just really rocks the music world. My friend Sharon told me about it and on Facebook and told other people, and then other people were definitely, uh, you know, putting in their condolences about what has happened to him. Right. I believe that was last Monday that that happened. He was, there was a um, soda pop shop that apparently had a piano that they let him uh, play as part of, like, the, you know, stuff for the customers and things of that nature. And apparently he was just... Uh, I don't know if he was walking from the store or which, which way he was walking, but he was just walking down the sidewalk. And uh, last I heard, I don't think they had found the hit-and-run driver, but they were still out there looking for him. I know at one point he was on the that area's most wanted list. So uh, folks are definitely trying Thanks. to find uh, him so that he can at least uh, you know, pay the cost for what he did. Uh, definitely took the life of one that was uh, very well respected in the music business. And indeed, our prayers go out to his family, his friends, and everyone whom he touched. And like you said, hopefully it that individual does get to uh, be brought to justice for what they have done. So it's sad, man. It's sad. Right. These things that happen, and like you said, like my uh, mom was saying, and like some other people were saying, you know. One never knows. I've got, uh, you heard me mention him last time. We were talking about just his views on music. But my friend uh, Ray also has another saying, which is that uh, we all have an expiration date. We just don't know when it is. So, you know, it's like the carton of milk and the fruit and the vegetables and everything else. We've all got one of them. And uh, hopefully yep. ours is nowhere nearby. But we, don't, we all definitely 
as human beings and mortals have one of those. But, uh, you know, like I said, sometimes you fight an illness and you have a general idea, but then sometimes something sudden happens and you have no idea at all. Yeah. we, we uh, the, What the old folks used to say, you know, we don't know the day nor the hour. And, and some other people would say, well, when the angel of death comes knocking, you can't tell them no. You know, it's your turn to go home. So we don't know when it is. So what matters is what you do now, you know, and, and everybody has that uh, beginning date. Everybody has that expiration date. What did you put in the dash to make a difference while you were yeah, here? So, is, yeah, because one of the things, like I said, we had a bunch of events. And one of the things we had was we had a uh, comedian that uh, performed at uh, the NC Honors, which they honored. This is their second year, I believe. And they were honoring different people from North Carolina. That's why it's called the NC Honors. And they honored who I did not realize, um, or maybe I read it and I just didn't put register it, that Tony Terry, the great singer, um, is a North Carolina person and born in this area. His family lived in Garner, which is a town in Wake County near Raleigh, and has definitely had this area as one of his homes. He was not able to make mm-hmm. it, but uh, I did not even realize that he was from this area and found out that he was from this area when they honored him. But the comedian that was performing... She was basically saying, um, which, you know, is kind of the opposite of what we were talking about with Reggie, but she was like saying, you know, sometimes we just need to stop lying about folks when they do pass on. As her joke was, you know, <laughs> sometimes they were rotten. If they were rotten, say right. they were rotten. You know, don't be trying say to run it because he talked about how sometimes we'll go into these events, uh, you know, whether it's a funeral or a memorial or whatever, and we'll try to paint a, a prettier picture than what they actually were. So that was one of her jokes right. was, you know, if they're, if they're rotten, Say they're rotten. And she was also saying, you know, that sometimes we just need to pop the kids upside the head. She was like, you know, she was remembering her upbringing. And she was like, sometimes, you know, you just got to pop them upside the head. Yeah, bring that old school discipline back one time. <laughs> and, and you know what? I told my wife before, I said, listen, when I go, there is no need for a eulogy. Because if you didn't know me while I was here, it's nobody that needs to lie about me when I'm gone. <laughs> That is very true, and I think that's the attitude that uh, she was definitely talking about. She was there, Grave Digger oh, yeah. was there, talking about the way that we do different things between uh, different ethnic groups and things of that nature. So he's a well-known comedian in the area, and he was just talking about, you know, how we uh, are not really trying to go into the water where the sharks are and things of that nature or go into the horror houses and different things of that nature. So he told some really good jokes, too. So both of those were our two hosts, Aaliyah Ford and uh Grave Digger is his name, but his real name is McKinley, B- McKinley Bryson. So it was really good to have both of them hosting the NC Honors that Derek Bridges put on. So that was a wonderful event. They honored um, a couple of the folks. Like I said, they honored, honored Tony Terry. They honored a couple of other folks that from around this community. Last year they had honored Minnie Fort Brown, one of our education uh, forerunners. So like I said, they're trying to do some good things in honoring people that have roots to North Carolina. And the day before, I had the legendary Chip Sharon. Um, who is in the uh, his guitar is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and you're actually gonna know the song that his guitar, I mean his bass guitar, is on and everything. Cause that's his uh, instrument of choice, is like the bass guitar and everything. But do you okay. remember the uh, early days of rap? There was a song called Rapper's Delight. It's probably one of the first billion or million bass, dollar hits and everything. You talk about the bass line from that? That is Chip Sharon's bass line. Okay. Wow. And Chip Sheridan is a Rucker native Jack. of this. <laughs> yeah, Chip Sheridan is a native of this area, and that is his baseline. Okay. That is one of his primary claims to fame. He's also performed with amazing artists, R&B artists, jazz artists, all kinds of artists. But uh, BU, one of our local area restaurants that used to do live music at their venue, but got away from that, and now they're presenting at other places. So they presented Chip at the Haytai on Friday night. Uh, had a nice crowd. They provided some of the food. Had nice ambiance things of that nature, and Chip definitely rocked out, played a couple of original songs, but also did some of the classics, uh, like um, I think he did uh, Papa's Got a Brand New Bag, um, Preacher Man, songs of that nature. So definitely the folks that were there that were probably mostly in that uh, 40 and above crowd were definitely grooving, and you know I saw people up there dancing and getting their groove on. And on the opposite of that age spectrum, there was a young gentleman uh, on Sunday who had an art show, so he rented out the space. Did, he's got some photography that he's done, so he showed his photography, and as he showed his photography, 
then he uh, went from there to uh, have some vendors. So there were various vendors there, including a woman from Zimbabwe who sells tutus of all, like the um, ballerina wow. tutus and things of that nature. So had a chance to talk to all of them. So like I said, you know, the whole weekend was just as busy for me as the measurement work. So I've been trying to like try to figure out when I'm going to have some uh, catch up time. I know I've got to do one of the history walks for Aya on Wednesday. So I'm thinking Tuesday or Wednesday will not be in. So maybe either Thursday or Friday, I'll get a little bit of uh, some downtime for myself. But, you know, we always roll in here in Durham. I know y'all are always rolling up there, but that's some of the things oh, that yeah. are going on. I think I heard a bell. And I know we've got several people that are yeah. supposed to be calling, so I don't know which of the folks okay. called, but I think I heard a bell. <laughs> well, you did hear a bell, y'all. Straight talk with Dana Mark. Be sure to call in or listen in, but if you call in, give us a call, 646-668-8393. <laughs> The old renaissance is the new renaissance, standing on tradition while embracing the spirit of distinction. This is the Harlem Brewing Company, uniquely crafted beer brewed to deliver a taste, a sound, and a feeling that can only be described in one way, Harlem style. So come and take a trip on the A-Train with our Harlem Sugar Hill Golden Ale and our Harlem Renaissance Whiskey, the neighborhood original. All right, welcome to Straight Talk with Data Mark. You are on the line. Tell us who you are and where you're coming from. Can you hear us? Anybody over there? Uh Uh-oh. They're here. We're just trying to get them into the show. So let's see if we can make this microphone work. Straight Talk with Data Mark, you are on the line. Hello? Uh, still me. I'm trying to figure out where the folks are. <laughs> we can't get it down packed in a few minutes. We can oh, hear yeah. the, the staticky part coming in, but the problem is I can't hear the uh, the individual, or I guess we can't hear the individual speaking. So um, let's see what we're going to do here. Give me one second. All right. I'm going to see if I can catch them on the back end. And we're going to see if we can get this person into the show. Uh, If you try to catch them on the back end, I'll talk about a little bit more of what we've got going on in the world and things of that nature. I know some folks will probably be interested in what was happening in the world since uh, I believe a spokesperson for uh, that person that we don't like to talk about has finally said that they've had enough and they have left those offices and are, uh, who knows, they might even start talking and maybe get that person into some more trouble and things of that nature since uh, they probably do not need to be where they are anyway. And, you know, we've got various candidates on the the Democratic side as well that would probably agree with me on that. They don't need to be sitting in that office. But uh, I do know that one of their spokespeople has left the office, so we're going to see whether they come out with any sort of conversation or if they're just going to be tried and true and try to stick with the party line, as people like to call it sometimes, or that they're going to try to make some changes in the world. So we're going to see what they're all about and what they're going to do. But that is one of the things that I know was in the news last week was folks trying to figure out, one, why they quit, and two, if they're going to do any sort of talking or things of that nature. So that was going on. And then, of course, on the celebrity side, Cuba Gooding was in the news because apparently recently this month he was at a (laughs) nightclub and was accused of doing stuff. But when I'm reading it, it looks like he did not really do much. And now they're saying that the young lady has got all kinds of things that she's saying on her Facebook that might make you kind of wonder about her credibility. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. But I know that definitely – his attorneys are definitely looking at things. Because, you know, if you come out there and you say things, people are going to do research on you, too. So apparently they've done some oh, yeah. research on her and found all kinds of things that are making her uh, credibility a little bit um, less than becoming in terms of whether she's actually got credibility or not. So that's going to be really uh, interesting she, to see how that, that plays out. Yeah, she, she's probably lying. Um, <laughs> we'll find out very shortly when, when it all comes out. Well, I'm trying to get Allison Maloney. Are you there? I am here. There we Hello, go. Hello, Allison. <laughs> hey, Welcome. There we go. Hello. 
<laughs> it took us a minute to get Alice there on the line. Now, Alice